Oh, hey, a movie's starting. You know, we deserve a break. L let's watch. L let's sit down and watch. It's starting. So, guys, what are we watching today? I don't know. It's just a black screen right now. Oh. But I'm, I'm very, uh, very anxious. What does it say, Rich? It says... Demon wind. Demon wind. Oh, I can hear wind. That's the demon wind. Are you sure it's not an unrelated wind? Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, my grandfather went the exact same way. All right, nice and comfy. Well, they got burnt down across in 1931. It was a lot more common back then, right? Uh, I don't know. Are those guys really gonna just talk the whole time? You should start. Stop all those lawn <laughs> crucifixions. Oh my god. I thought I told you before. Keep Fluffy in her cage at night. It's the worst family barbecue ever. I, I, I figured out the fa uh, family lineage, by the way, gentlemen. I've seen oh, this, this film movie we haven't watched. I, I've seen the film before, uh, 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 fourteen different times. Oh my God, you've seen Demon Win fourteen times. Yes, I knew you guys. Have so not. this has to be really good. Then. Well, I no, can't wait. I, I've watched it fourteen times so I could figure out what the fuck's going on. I'm sorry, what was that? I wasn't listening. Having a fireplace made out of cardboard and, and paper doesn't seem like the best idea. Jesus was always my favorite family member. So what relation is Jesus? That's our Uncle Jesus. <laughs> Great Uncle Jesus. Jesus, it, ironically, all of his photos are in color. But all the people who were born in 1931, all their photos are in black and white. I don't know how they achieved this technological <laughs> achieve marvel. Would it hurt you to smile, Grandma? You're in demon wind. Your career is going places. Uncle Jesus, the college years. Oh, it's my favorite song, Washed in the Blood of the Lamb by Styx. That's what you got? Uh, yeah. <laughs> they like their candles, I guess. Uh, their wicker baskets. They love the Jesus. The Jesus protects the house, when, uh, except for the fact that he doesn't protect the house. Candles, glass jars, religious photos, wicker baskets. Oh, now I know where my thrift store got all of its merchandise. That's what you got? Oh my god, this is the worst Thanksgiving ever. No one showed up. The one guy that did show up, they burned on a cross. Help me, Jesus, I'm watching Demon Wind. It's kind of funny, they, 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 they all this religious picture, all these religious pictures, you know? Oh, they have all these pictures of Jesus, but they never once, like, mentioned Jesus in any of their spells. It's not religious, you know, towards the end, Jay. We've oh, seen you've, you've seen this movie before? I've seen this movie before. Rich, oh. MJ. So you paid to see it again in a theater, huh? No, I did. That's... Well, I mean, it's got to be good, right? I, I, I'm assuming so. Yeah, we'll find out. Money on the Jesus pictures. Oh. Those boards are nailed to the door. That literally does nothing. They're, you know what I mean? <laughs> do, do you know what I'm saying, Rich? I know what you're saying. They're just nailed to the door. They're not. They're not keeping the. Oh, I guess a, a little bit goes up. A couple of them are. Okay. It would keep you from pulling the door out. In my personal experience, if a demon wants to get in your house, nothing's gonna stop it. You know? Getting stronger. Did Zach Baggins tell you that? He did. Did you bring the daggers? Yeah. And the diary? You always told me you 
like my cooking. He's just uh, having a diabetic reaction to her Christmas cookies. <gasps> this is what happens when Rich eats fish. You stop, George. I told you I was allergic to your green bean casserole. <laughs> Just went to the gym with John Travolta. <laughs> I don't understand that <laughs> joke at all, but I think I do, and I don't like it. <laughs> Does John Travolta have diseases? I don't understand your joke. It was a semen joke. <laughs> like that's what was coming out of his mouth, all curdled and disgusted, no. filled with blood. That's what Hollywood does to you. Are you sure we're not watching David Lynch's Dune? This is the Baron, right? Yeah, drink this snow globe. Drink the snow globe. It's got, it's got Benadryl in it. It's the end of both of us. This, now the snow globe is magic. Right? No, my for no reason at all. If she breaks the snow globe. It's a Jesus snow globe. The curse is broken. No. So, no. Stop. I really don't know. Stop. Although this is only the, their second worst thing. I'm not liking this pretty citizen thing. At the end of the movie? No. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Ireland's most advanced expressway. <laughs> Not bad. Pretty good. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> as soon as we meet our hero, Corey, I'll explain to you the lineage. Or you guys just ask me. I mean, this is the premise. Uh, he's driving. Uh, he's taking his girlfriend. How much farther is it to your grandparents? What the hell's your name? Diane or something? Know. I don't know. I think not. Lily Rabe. B. Arthur? No, he's driving her. Oh, here's a flashback. He's driving her to visit to find his grandparents' uh, uh, farm farmhouse. Farmhouse. And now this is Corey's dad. He hasn't seen his dad Corey. his whole life, and he decides to look him up and visit him. Dad. And then the very next day after what being like visited by his son Corey, his dad kills himself. Drunk. So a pretty standard Christmas. I mean, maybe he killed himself because he lived in a, no. a cardboard it's apartment funny. building. Oh, or Corey told him he was going really to pursue acting. I'm in this new film called Demon Wind. Fuck this! I'm sorry I ever laid eyes on him. I can't live with the shame <laughs> of your career. Uh, but he hasn't told his girlfriend about that his father killed himself. All he told her is, listen, uh, we uh, we got to go find my grandparents' farm. Yeah. And and I'm going to invite 12 of my whitest friends to come along. So they can be killed off one by one by demons. I mean, it sounds like a good, like a fun group activity. How many more of them could have rode with in that car? Yeah, the saved on gas. Yeah, yeah. No room. The back seat was taken up with all of his emotional baggage. Bum, 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 bum. Parents, it's 10 a.m. Do you know where your neglected redheaded stepchild is? Oh my God. You're not going to touch the car with that stick. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> also, they invented soap. That <laughs> little girl <laughs> get in the bathtub. Unless you're a ghost. Do you think she's a ghost? I don't know. There, there's no indication that she is or isn't. She looks like she could be in red. That's very weird. That's why I thought this was Ireland. Some, some, some scummy, dirty Irish child. It's just in the shot. Unwashed Irish child is just in their shot. Do you just assume that they don't take baths in Ireland? I don't know. I don't know much about Ireland. Isn't driving fun? So? 
Don't you love watching people drive just that sense. somewhere rich in a film? Since I saw my old man, there's a... Uh, yes. I mean, it works in Cannonball Run. Like Would loud, you say Demon Win is the Cannonball Run of horror films? <laughs> I think that's a very accurate statement, yes. <laughs> It sounded like you said cannibal run. I did the first time. Uh, no, Rich. Oh. So we're gonna we're gonna workshop that later. Okay. <laughs> Can cannibal run. <laughs> cannibal run's a good name for a horror film. But first, we gotta talk about this gas station. I've been here before. And what? this very common dream. dream that I've had. I don't know about you guys. It's being naked at a gas station no. you've never been to before. Right. We're holding a. What is he holding? I think he's there for a loop job. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. We were naked at a gas station and the bloody mother comes out and laughs at you. We've had this dream before. Oh, that's not his mother, that's his grandmother. Yes. Would you like me to talk about the lineage yet? <laughs> why, don't you, why don't you please tell me about the lineage? Well, they're about to go inside the gas station, and that's some of the best scenes of the film. So we get to see the paper mache home, gas station. Sorry. You just have to make a drink. It's pretty insane. I'll wait till the next driving scene. Okay, to talk about the I still don't understand it. more than one driving seat? Yes. There's lots of driving and walking and waiting. But why? That was the original title of the film. <laughs> Corey. Corey, are you all right? Yeah. This road is really oh, doing okay. a number on my hemorrhoids. Well, I'm, I'm fine now, really. Oh, see? They spot the gas station from the top of the hill, and then they take the car three miles an hour to the gas station so that we can wait even longer for them to get there. This is where he chose to put his gas station? This does seem like a terrible location. Oh, thank God. I haven't had a customer since 1952. There's not even like a gravel parking lot. No. It's just in the middle of a field. Because it's fake. It's a <laughs> fake gas station, Jay. Oh. There's literally no infrastructure around to, uh, where they could fill the gas tanks up <laughs> under the ground or anything. But it's it's a spooky, supernatural gas station. Oh, like it shouldn't be there. What can I do you for? Maybe if, that, if it's can a ghost a gas station, here? perhaps. But I think you they can? just didn't want to film at a real place. gas station. This map says it's right know, near so here. Just made one. I, 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 the first time I saw this film, I thought that it was going to blow up. She wants some gas. No. It's like when they have an old car in the middle of the field. Oh, oh no, yeah, film you know was, it's coming. This film was destined to flop. What? There's no way this film was going to blow up. <laughs> no, no, the gas station, not the film. <laughs> There's no such place as a barber shop either, so don't go looking for that. Do you think these gas pumps actually Maybe work? Right. The map could be wrong. Do you think these it's actors cool. actually work? No, not anymore. No. Not after Demon Wind came out. This is the place in the dream. Hey, if the you had a dream where you, you were naked and your mother was bloodied with her throat ripped open, would you stop at this gas station? <laughs> I probably wouldn't. I'd skip it. I mean, they got a window made out of white duct tape. It looks like Pee Wee's Playhouse. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that junky looking. And Rich, this is a gas station, not a high school play set. <laughs> I guess this movie takes place in a world where all the buildings are constructed from paper mache. Hello? Plywood. <laughs> okay. Anybody here? So the, the window on that door is definitely made of white duct tape. It's like a pla it's like like Hello? plastic tarp. <laughs> and that's like cardboard. Oh, I picked the wrong boyfriend. <laughs> no, what should I order? Hey lady, the the bathroom's Wait, no, he was back. the one that was naked in the dream. Hey Harmon. Oh, she's going to release some demon wind. <laughs> oh no. Uh <laughs> This is very common behavior. It's very realistic. A moon for the misbegotten. This is what the humans do? Please. Corey, I just want you to lighten up. Is this movie made by the demon wind? Maybe they're on their honeymoon? The bathroom's out back. <coughs> I'm afraid uh, the character no, made a joke about that. Can we get one. something to drink? <laughs> <laughs> he 
he says something about a moon. I think it's a quote from something. We have beer, Coke, water, and goat's milk. Ooh, I'll take the goat's milk. Uh, Coke, please. Thank you. Has anyone else been in here today? Old man Deavers a week ago. And Mrs. Wilson came by with little Linda. Looks like, it looks like she's from 1940 or 30. Linda's friend? Is she a ghost? I think she's a ghost. Did you meet her when she you think? Or a demon? Yeah. A demon disguised as a person? I think she's a demon ghost from the 19th, from Grandma's time. I think Do you think they're turning a profit with those 50 cent away. fish burgers? <laughs> Did you meet little Linda? Well, I mean, nobody drives by there for gas. No, we so they got to supplement Linda. their income somehow. Uh, can you tell us how far the Carter farm is from here? Do you think gas here? pumps even work? No. They're just there for show. It's like a decoration. <laughs> to you know, entice so you to come in and get a sandwich? Right. A fish <laughs> to burger. get a fish burger. Never heard a barbecue. A barbecued fish burger? Sure, why not? Hey, I need some gas. Oh, our gas pumps don't work. Be come through. on, have a fish burger <laughs> while you're here. Have some goat's milk. <laughs> I, I I still understand why Dell kisses her on the mouth. Like a, they're a very close group of friends. It's a little, it's a little uh, you know, that's like his best buddy's girlfriend, and he just Dell. kisses her on the fucking mouth. Well, now, don't you look good enough He's to eat. the asshole. His character is the asshole. Corey, my man. And he starts smooching her, and his line is, that's why I keep her around. He says oh. it three times. Hi, Dell. How was the drive? Uh, He's the asshole. You know Dell just spreads around the hoopies amongst everybody. We had to stop. Now, Corey to has invited and you, uh, 11 of you his white good. friends <laughs> to go with him to his haunted grandparents' cabin for no reason at all. Perhaps for them Bad to get killed off or, yeah. or turned into demons. Uh, they're there for emotional support. Honey, he knows what he's going to find at this I'm abandoned fine. cabin that somebody divine. died at 60 oh, years earlier. Oh, thank you, yeah, thank you. You, you, you need divine. 25 of your 40-year-old your, uh, high school friends. Bizarre greeting rituals of the subculture. Thanks for coming with me on this very, very vague Good mission. Good afternoon, Mr. Harmon. Jack, man, am I tell you all to about it when we get to the your message demonically sounded. possessed, burnt-down so, cabin. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Then I'll tell you all about I mean, why you're here. Yeah, well, if you two homos can keep your hands off each other for a second, let's Sign get something to drink. Sign me up, Corey. Maybe Corey can tell us why we're out here in the sticks. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Uh, I mean, the important part is that uh, he, he invited his entire high school class to come hang out at the cabin with him for some Anybody reason. Anybody want a beer? His 90s friends. <laughs> no, we're fine. Fine. What is it? Just say no week? I'll tell Not you all me. about my family's depressing That's history over a couple of fish burgers. Over some Cokes and a Milwaukee's Best. No, we don't drink that filth. Has there ever been a more ironically titled beer? What's <laughs> <laughs> uh, so <no>. funny? <laughs> I, I suppose what not. It? Nothing, Del. No, we're just down here talking about your dick. It's a little thing, Del. It's not worth mentioning. So I guess, right. oh, she da she must have dated so, him. Corey, uh, the blonde. Why'd you bring us up here? Who's, date, who's, Co who's Corey's girlfriend. Is he okay? Because they were talking about no, Del's um, penis size. <laughs> Oh, her he name's Elaine, the by the way. The girlfriend? Her, Elaine. Yeah. I know. Uh, I, uh, her and, uh, I, I think her name's, uh... uh Four days after he was born. Barbara or fucking something like that. His family disappeared That's from a farm near here. I wrote it Where down. Where was your dad when that happened? He was in an incubator in a hospital. Give me a minute. If he hadn't been there... <laughs> I gotta go through no, one outside. I'll give you several Did minutes. Did ever find his family? No, uh, but yeah. right after I was born, he came up here to find out what happened. She's the only one who showed up for the. He never came home. I think something bizarre has been going on at that farm for a long right. time. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna find out what. They killed themselves. <laughs> oh, so the sequel to this movie is gonna be meta, and it's gonna be the filmmakers traveling to this cabin to find out why the actors killed themselves. <laughs> My grandpa made demon win here 30 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the a great The next day, sequel. he killed himself. <laughs> the next day. <laughs> All the demons, on the young dead demons, advice, are the people son. that attended the premiere. <laughs> there was a fire <laughs> in the premiere. We've got business at that farm. Demon wind. Belongs to me now. I keep hoping something you different. You do not happens. own that property. Watch the movie. Oh, yeah? Like, it'll change. Then just who owns the land, old man? Like Clue. When that was released in theaters yeah. and had different endings? Right. One of these days, you'll walk into the theater to see Demon Win, and it'll be the ending that makes sense? Yeah. 
I keep buying Blu-rays, hoping the that Blu-ray will be different. You know, you not only got an attitude problem, always hoping that you're also out of your fucking mind. You gotta learn to respect the elders, boy. Wow. Wow. Now just hold on a minute. Is that on the menu? That's on the menu. We don't want any trouble. It's all... There's no, there's no, uh, no, 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 there's no vegetarian <laughs> options. <laughs> all it's it's all like cars. weird, disgusting Go back food where you that came costs from. 50 cents. Oh. See, oh, oh yeah, pastrami, oh. ham fish sandwich, fish, fish burger. Yeah. Fish burger, a hot link sandwich. Uh, oh, can we get back to the menu? Okay, fried chicken, barbecue beef sandwich. Uh, so they have a lot of meat, meat options. What are you trying to hide? And that's it. And nobody paid the for their cokes or, or their beer. Originally, I thought it was Ireland, but it's shot in Thousand Oaks, California. The cattle and outside the of Los Angeles Chris. by the ro rolling the hills of Thousand Oaks, California, which is doubling for some kind of country Sunday. area. Or All the families it's were in rather church, vague. So Thousand Oaks? Oaks. A thousand Oaks, thousand California. Oaks. There's a city. That That's where a thousand I went up to uh, see they were all right. struggling actors live. Oh, uh, a thousand oh, jokes. <laughs> I saw got them. for you on this commentary. I saw. Track, what, what did you commentary see? Commentary track. We're in a movie theater. Everywhere. All right. Sorry. That's what Black we should say while we're in this movie theater. As aliens. It's a good thing that there's no other people watching this movie. They'd be very upset that we keep talking about it. Right. They would miss the plot. Anyways, whenever you guys are ready, I could tell you the and lineage. Never yes, I'm ready right now to know the lineage of these characters I don't care about. Uh, well, it's not, it's not so much about these characters. It's more the backstory okay. of the entire premise of the film. But here, our harbinger of doom is warning them to go, not go to the cabin. Even though at the end of the film, spoiler, no, it ain't even he loaded. is an insane priest. Please, boy. Uh, don't he go up there. turns into the son of Satan. I have to. And his legion of demons. I know. Are there. So well, I think he would want to add more to his legion to of demons. By luring is. these unsuspected, uh, unsuspecting kids to their uh, the grandparents' farm to be turned into <laughs> demons, it's right? That's all right. Instead all right. of warning them away. Right, Rich? It's a reverse psychology. It was very effective. Okay. You, you, think, <laughs> you think he was going for reverse psychology? Pleasant good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Oh no, who invited Dracula? Rich, more friends are showing up. These are the magician friends. More friends? No. Or, or magicians. These are, this is the early roles of for Sean Penn and Kevin Bacon. As a man in a Dracula costume. <laughs> He's a magician. That's a magician's cape. It's a, okay, sure. No court is not impressed. Now, Mike, you've seen this before, right? Yes, I have. You've seen this 14 times yes. before? Yes, I have. Uh, I'm assuming, like, they're really hammering it in that this guy's a magician. I'm assuming that's going to pay off later, right? Flowers. Uh, the, no, the kicking pays off. He's a, he's a kung fu magician. <laughs> God, I saw you. I saw you do that. Yeah, you did that thing earlier today. Yeah. Were you trying to reenact this movie? I was. The famous can kicking scene. It's a staple of most magic acts. And I don't know why anyone would show up in a tuxedo doing magic tricks when you're chicken going shit. on. I'll shove that karate crap up your ass. Quest to Be find your guest. friend's dead grandparents burned down cabin. Easy now. Apparently, he brought a rabbit with him too, just Easy to do this now. one trick. Actually, you just did the smoke bomb thing, and then the rabbit happened to be there. Oh! So it's like fortuitous. Del, del, del. Yeah. Wow, that's great. Cool out. He has dozens of rabbits on his person at all times. Okay, just in case something comes out. You I never know. We don't need Richard Sean Penn, not Richard, not Richard you know Gere. I mean? I Are they both magicians? Or is this the magician's assistant, and they couldn't get oh, an actress? In this a there could be two magicians. Like this I disagree. To the Hinterlands? I, I to hang honestly out with beautiful don't know. people. I was surprised man, to find that this was a, a film made in the U.S. Besides, <laughs> I mean, it, it has all the markings of like a weird so Italian movie. Tried where, to make something American. Yeah, yeah. magic. So, but it uh, was shot in Los Angeles. What exactly by is the nature that's People in the Hollywood system. Know, by low budget, of course, I'll show you. 
Dale, you still coming? They don't even know? Yeah, yeah, we're in. No, they've all been driving for hours to go to an undisclosed location I don't know for why unknown I reasons. For These are some good fucking friends. Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's not much to do in this. Uh, uh, I guess they're... I don't know where they're all from. I don't think the movie ever tells us. I drove four hours to be here. What's going on? And I wore my best tuxedo and a Dracula cape. Well, I recognize the magician. He's the only actor in the film I recognize. And it's not because he looks like Kevin Bacon. He's in the film Shock 'em Dead, where he played a nerd turned rock and roller. Oh, yeah. That, that has to eat souls. Some we bitchin' idiots. That? We've seen that film, yeah. With Tracy Lords. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's funny because. Son of a bitchin' idiots. That sounds like an Italian. Uh, All the son way, of a I mean, an idiots. Italian would yeah, write. Yeah. I was gonna say it's funny because there's also a, a porno actress in this too. There is. Maybe yeah. so, but it's mine. Is it the old man? No, the nudity lady who comes out of the woods and and kind of lures them out of the house. Remember? Oh no, I don't remember because this is the first time I've seen this. And I think you're all, the only one who's seen it multiple times now. I think I looked up all these actors on like IMDb, and almost every one of them ended up in porn. <laughs> after this, well, you know, whether it's softcore. Remember all those softcore programs, the Red Shoe Diaries? Oh, sure. Passion something, and all those na all those titles were coming up. All those Skinamax late night Damn Skinamax food. flicks that Rich would tape on a VCR and label as football game. <laughs> I knew what you were up to back in the day. Why do you have so many VHS tapes labeled football game? Football game one, football game two. Uh, that was the sticky one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone, we're back on the road. If anyone spots the plot, let me know. What, they just throw garbage out of they their just, car? No, they just throw out their magician uniforms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because they realized they weren't going to, like, a resort. Yeah, but this probably were expensive. <laughs> I, I mean, that Dracula suit looked like a fairly nice Dracula suit. You would think if he wants to be a professional magician, he would want to hold on to that, even if he's not going to use it this weekend. It's, it's the magician code joke. You're only allowed to use your outfit once. Then it must be destroyed. Yes. Do you think, like, some horror movies are made as just an excuse to, you know, fill a movie with, like, gore, or maybe some nudity? Is this movie just an excuse to film people driving? <laughs> well, they found a knife with a bunch of maggots in it. Accidentally got in the shot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, oh, should I tell you all about the history? <laughs> yes, Mike. Please tell me all about the history. Well, I'm we waiting. got time. We need context. Okay. So June eighth, nineteen twenty-nine. Corey's I need to have father was born. Who I am. Should I go? Should I go chronologically here? Yes, you probably should. The 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 farm. Oh, oh, I think I'm going to have to wait. Oh, look, the grade school kids were doing Shakespeare in the park. <laughs> Is the skeleton a part of the family lineage? Uh, I don't know who the skeleton is. That's, is that Uncle Remus? I can't believe they left that up there for 30 years. More than 30. More than 30, yes. 30 years 60. ago is when the gram... Or no, who died 30 years ago, Mike? I, I have it all. I have it all written out. I, I, uh, you know, you keep saying that. I don't believe. It. <laughs> so the, I think the skeleton was burnt in 1931. In That's the what we saw in the, the opening. Film. Yeah. And so this is the movie came out in 1990. So oh, we're going to assume it's 1990. Okay. Uh, which is so 60 years. 60. Yeah. The skeleton's been up there don't for 60 years. Please. And as Rich, you noted before the ligaments that hold the bones together have not been burnt or rotted away. <laughs> yes. The skeleton remains intact. It's kind of amazing. Yeah, it, do, it just doesn't fall into pieces. I guess there's no police in Ireland. Or no one drives down this road ever? I don't know. Like, literally ever. Does ever? this take place in Ireland? I know you said it's no, shot in California. No, I'm just joking around because it looks like Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> do they say where it's supposed to take place? They don't... I think uh, I, I think we'd like to talk now about the set and um, and 
what, what, what all this is before I get into lineage. Okay. I may not have time to squeeze it in. Oh my god. What's the fucking problem, Bonnie? You're studying to be an anthropologist. That's that was Skeletor's brother. It's all completely irrelevant, isn't it? Well, okay, so this guy here is is Corey's dad's brother. Now let me let me let me get into it. Oh okay, I'm I'm waiting. Okay. I'm very excited. So the film opens in nineteen thirty one. And there is a body being burnt on a cross. I don't know why. But the, the two people we see in the opening of the film are Regina and George, which are just the know grandparents of Corey. Yes. But that's not where the story right starts. Here. Oh, my God. The Somebody story really the starts through here, in the 1800s. And set fire to the the house. farm was built by Corey's great-grandparents. Uh, and they followed a guy named Anders, who decided to start a satanic cult. Uh, and the satanic cult killed three little girls, and then the townsfolk gathered up all the satanic cult members and here. burned them all to death, death potentially this on this land. Ah. Um, sort of like a, a Freddy Krueger-ish kind of backstory, yeah. right? And they said, we don't want your satanic cult here. Uh, and then flash forward to 1931, the, uh, Corey's uh, uh, grandpa uh, grandparents live on the farm. Um, I, I have to stop. Because we have to talk about this. Now watch this magic bridge. What? <laughs> Why do you think they did that? I'm going to give you 14 guesses. Okay. Watch this, though. Watch this. Ready? Corey? Ready? Watch this. <laughs> now. Corey. They did it because it's magical and weird and creepy. Corey. Now let's see. Watch, Rich. Watch. Are you watching? I'm watching. <laughs> I actually find this this is interesting right now. Because she doesn't see him. That's great. No. I'm going inside. It, Corey, wait. What's it? Why is it happening? So they could film on a soundstage. Oh. That's why. You oh, know why, cool. Jay. <laughs> I have to see what's through that door. You guys can wait out here. Is it like? Hey, oh, gotcha. we already wrote our opening scene where the cabin blows up, but we have to have somewhere for our characters to go. So they'll just go to the remnants of the cabin? I think the idea was and that... magic just, happens? Just change the opening scene. I'm assuming they didn't have a good exterior to where they could film at. They didn't know where to find yeah. a cabin in the woods. Yeah. That's, that's Yes, exactly. They they wanted to make Evil Dead, and they, they wanted a cabin in the woods in, in deep forest at night, dark, spooky forest with, with smoke and And it's that they don't have a cabin or woods. Right. So they had Thousand Oaks, California, <laughs> the rolling hills in 70-degree temperatures and no woods around. They'd have to drive pretty far out of the Los Angeles area to go find, like, spooky woods. Yeah. So they just set up, a, like, junk in the middle of nowhere, and then they go inside a magical cabin. And they, they used an existing set built for some high school production to for Regina. their main location. Right. With all my love. Oh, look, Rich. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> Seamless. I think you meant seamful. Oh. There's Grandma. So She looks just how I remember her. Her head fell off, and she started on fire when the house blew up. <laughs> but the house is still there, but Grandma's burnt up bones. No one ever cleared it out, I guess. And nobody ever w poked around here. The cops never showed up. Then again, we are in a magical interior that doesn't really exist. Would, would like a police officer that drove up to investigate the skeleton on a cross? Like, <laughs> why, why does this look so bad? Because it's an optical effect. But that should be the easiest effect to do and have it be pretty seamless, right? Just put the camera on a fucking tripod. Well, they, well, they did. did that. But when back in the, the days of film, you would have a little bit of fluttering the, the of film, the film. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. No, no. Don't do that. New protesta Santana vivet. Paper mache fireplace. Blood on the wall. Don't read it aloud. 
up the demon. brand new film stock mm. so certain shots look really nice some shots look crappy <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's going on here I don't, I don't know uh, i don't know what was the bonnie red what did it say it's it was left it, it says the now satan shall walk yes yeah. but from a real production yeah. when the, 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 they're, yeah. they're almost hey now are you saying even when it's not a real what production I am. Whatever yes. my oh, okay. so i'm gonna find uh, out yeah, why. just making sure yeah, we got uh, 50 feet left on this this roll. Just change it out. We didn't use it on Back to the Future. Yes. Yeah, we're gonna give him the demon rolls. Yes. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. The, 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 the film people and go. Do you have any short ends? Sure. Here's a whole ton of them. Load up the camera with a little bit of my footage. My battery's dead. And we got one shot where Del pumps his head out of the car and says, "My car won't start." And, you know, we nothing. have to get out yeah, of here one now. Take. She's yeah. right. This so it was, a, it was kind of a, a mess. But, uh, I'll tell you, what we witnessed here is a hallucination. Sure. Come on, Big Jack. Jack. What happened in that house was real. You saw it with your so own eyes. So the demons well, don't uh, my own are stopping their cars like from starting. Simply don't right? happen. Jack, there the is demons something won't here. let the batteries evil. start the car. Evil, evil way. That's going there. On. It's been waiting all this time. Waiting for what? For us. For us to come here. Promise me something. Anything. If we die, don't bury me here. You're not going That's to a weird die. weird thing but to say, but... Promise not me. Gonna die, okay, I promise, but nothing's going to happen. I'm actually not going to turn it. into a plastic doll and then start let's get her out of here. Okay, let's I'm almost we certain that's back. not going to happen to you, Bonnie. That would be <laughs> very strange. I w then I wouldn't have to bury you, right? So I promise that I won't bury you, Bonnie. Because I won't have to bury you if you turn into a plastic doll and then start on fire. Oh, back to the lineage. <laughs> so, 1890s, satanic cult, farm, got all burnt up. Flash forward to 1931, Corey's grandparents are there. It says, Mrs. James, which I think is Corey's grandma, had triplets. They were killed right after birth. They weren't even human. All the children were the same except for Look Corey's dad. Why was he different? I don't know. <laughs> and then Corey's dad also had an older brother, which is the kid they show running up and spitting the spitting blood. Spitting the blood, yeah. So I guess she had five yes. kids? And the triplets? I don't understand it. <laughs> <laughs> Two normal kids and three demon babies. I, I get right. it. I get it. But the dialogue says she had four like kids, this. and one of them was it's not the same forest. Forest. Right? Miss forest. James had triplets. Yeah, and on the triplets. Floor. They okay. were killed right after birth. Same power. They that wasn't that house. even human. Look, it's coming back. Uh, and that's it. So his dad survived out of all the kids, I guess. Oh, the dad was in um, an incubator during the events of the opening. Oh. And he was born in 1929. The explosion the and the demon God, attack happened in 1931. Yeah. Oh no, here so he was again. three years old and still in an incubator at the hospital. And that's why his dad was able to survive. That's that's really fascinating. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Oh, now God. here's the demon lady, everybody. Now, I've never seen this. I don't know what's oh, going to happen. No. Does he also Son have alienation bitch. DNA in his bloodline? Thermine. <laughs> Thermine. Oh, my God. What? So these are the three girls from the 1800s that were sacrificed to Satan oh. by Anders 
demonic cult. What? These are not the three kids you of come from Corey's the grandma. That's who I would assume they are. No, look at their attire. They're sure. Clearly, what? pre 19. Why, why do we have so many lineages and, and you three children? I don't know. No! Are they related to the stick girl from no! earlier in no. the film? The stick girl is on the way. Oh, you weren't kidding. <laughs> hey, is this one of those Cabbage Patch Kids? These are worth a lot of money. You lied. What? Oh, no. Even if you plan for that the worst, I it. bet none of them could have expected Whatever that Whatever series isn't going to let us no. go. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. You got any other hot news for us? Yeah, the sun's gonna be down in a few minutes. We got two choices. You know, the that man sounds just like one of his friends. But something in there just tried to kill us. <laughs> I don't think That's so. An I, amazing I think actor, whatever it is, you're <laughs> trying to warn us away. It's a traumatic experience. He so. sold me on the emotion of the moment. Just a feeling I have. Yeah, well, that's just great, pals, because you're How feeling you like you're in the shithole in the first place. <laughs> I don't know if I could. Oh my god! What the fuck? What the motherfuck just happened? Holy shit, did you see that? Then you'd start running with like a like a load in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> or you'd fall down one of the hills well, and roll down in your own with filth. You no That'd be really embarrassing if that happened to we the blonde guy in this, because he's wearing white sweatpants. You're crazy, Molly. You're crazy. <laughs> it was a poor choice with all that grass around. You know? Yeah. I mean, sweatpants are always a bad choice. Dell is just secretly super worried about getting grass stains on his favorite white sweatpants. Come on, Terry, I can see it in your so eyes. Are these two characters together? They were. But now she's with with. Uh, I love you. Uh, what's his face back there? Flash yes. Thompson. Yes. Flash Thompson. <laughs> and and he's with Sean Penn now. Don't oh, okay. Me. Okay. You don't. They're gay magicians. He like switched teams. To you. Okay. It's not to me. I need somebody who's serious about me. Dell is. Is <laughs> the time for that conversation? No. Yeah, the friend just turned into a plastic doll and started on fire. I, I, it's not really the time. We could fight if you want to. Maybe they weren't that close to her. Right. But we don't have anything to fight about. They should have blamed uh, Kevin Bacon and Sean Penn and said that. Well, let's go inside then. Tricks, right? Ooh. Good idea. That's what they call a setup and pay off. <laughs> yeah, that was one of your fucking magic tricks, Kevin Bacon, and he starts punching him. Bring her back. Bring her back, bro. Hey, that's good. Yeah. Like, like, one of them just doesn't believe anything that ever happens in the film. The we entire film. Yeah, we've established these two guys show up as magicians, and then they think they're playing a prank on them, right? Your other friend's head just, just explodes, and brain matter flies all over the place. Stop doing your magic tricks, Dave. Right. Exactly. Rich, how did they get this footage of your house? They gave me 20 bucks. Yeah. Is, is this the house you grew up in? All these pictures of Jesus and garbage all over the floor? Yeah, after I fixed it up a bit. Uh, okay, you cleaned up for I the film up, crew? You know, I'm going to film a movie at my house. Do you have a fireplace made of construction paper and tinfoil? <laughs> <laughs> now, why are they cleaning up? I don't know. Because they got to spend the night there. I think Who it's going to be spend okay. the night where a bunch of firecrackers blow up a turkey. <laughs> that's kind of glass, right? Not me. That's, that's a good point. Yeah. To be fair, they can't leave. Yeah. And they they, they, they ruled out sleeping in their cars because one character said, I don't want to sleep in a Cadillac with you, bro. Look, he's got the like the, the, the little things. That a oh, hey, he's doing a magician thing. Mm -hmm. Just in the very edge of the frame for no reason. I'm sure we're going to get a big payoff to his magic skills. Yeah. You bet I can't we wait. Are. You bet we are, everybody. What else Holy. is on the soundstage? They're filming Grandma's sure. right next to this. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, just a ghost. Was that, was that his? That wasn't his mom. That would be his grandma. His grandma. Okay. God damn it! I just explained the lineage. I'm trying that, to keep track of the lineage. His mother and his his mother is not in the film at all. His father is. We don't know what happened to his mother. I was, I was about to ask, did I miss something with the mother? No, it's just not important. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she died at some point. I don't know. It's 
the really of the grandparents and the great grandparents. Okay, Jay. Okay. I'll take your word for it. Maybe right. his mother was an alien nation. His there mother. His mother was a third. Man. There you go. Well, Doctor Egon Spangler's ghost is here. This is a proton pack. <laughs> So this is Grandma's uh, diary, right? It's the Necronauticon. Necronauticon. <laughs> How did you just slip that in there, like all casually, like? Yeah. Or was that just? Did you just mispronounce it and it happened no. to work? No. That's a quality joke that you should it have is. given more prominence. Yeah. You just said it, it so offhand. You did. Yeah. I mean, uh, it was really spot on. Being the diary of Carter, <laughs> born June I think 8, that was an accident. <laughs> No, but, I, I had thought of that before we filmed. Okay. So we'll call it the Necronauticon. Uh, Grandma's diary, and she writes in, I don't know, some kind of ancient language. Well, this part's not her diary. This is a book she just found, and then she took over. So this page here, the oh, she started writing in Sharpie. This Protect is what Grandma took over. my child from the evil touch. How did the edges get so perfectly Rise burnt? Now and well, she bought it at the Michaels like so around Halloween time. Someone took a lighter to the edges to try to age them. I'm sorry, what was that? I wasn't listening. Christ, you trying to give me a heart attack? I could ask you the same thing. Oh, God. I made you some food. <laughs> oh, she made him a bologna sandwich. I'm sure the bologna from some 1931 weekend. is still good. Yeah. They had a cooler. You really know how to show Oh, they did? Good yeah. They brought, one of them was holding a cooler. They brought sandwiches? Yeah. I'm glad you're here. I guess no one knew where they were going. Like you had to plan ahead. Someone brought their swimsuit. They brought a cooler full of beer and sandwiches. <laughs> we thought the magician were brought a bunch of rabbits and yeah. uh, doves. He thought he was going to be playing a show, like doing a magic act. <laughs> we thought they were driving down to Cancun. Depending on how the rest of the weekend goes, they're going to be eating it those is rabbits. Dusk. I know tonight I will die. You know, you tell your friends, hey, Even I got an idea. We're going to have a me mystery vacation. Now. Prepare for anything. Yeah. <laughs> you never know what we're going to do. And then they show up. And someday just you like, might oh, yeah, will face the evil that comes from me. In you're going to help me clean out this demonic <laughs> cabin. You're going to help me clean out my, my dead grandmother's demonic The other five cabin. have been lost. His, his it plan worked real well because you can kill everyone got whittled Satan. down except for him and his girlfriend. I pray these two men. invited the proper amount of people to solve the mystery, figure out what was going on at his grandparents' cabin. And he eliminated 11 of his friends. Maybe he doesn't like any of those people. That was his goal exactly. all along. He was tired of getting invited to their, like, parties and uh, uh, events and stuff. He successfully killed off all of his girlfriend's exes. There you go. <laughs> That's it. The Evil Dead has a dagger. What if we have two daggers? That would mean our movie's twice as good, right? Yeah. Oh my god, not issue number one of Good Housekeeping. That's worth a fortune. I saw it on Antiques Roadshow once. Yeah, so the dagger is the, the I think the grandma's journal said, seven daggers will kill the son of Satan. Found something. I don't this know farm how she was knew built that. by my great grandfather. Uh, but uh, they, he and they only have two. Five are missing. Five named of the daggers Enders to this valley. When they arrived, why, Enders why, do what why? you will with that information, Corey. <laughs> and the true guy. Like they never find the daggers, right? No. The other daggers. No. Why even bring that up? Yeah. Uh, well, because they use the daggers to, to stab the devil. demons. I know that, but why bring up that there are the five girls lost disappeared? Ones? I don't know. You think the at the end they'd find them? We need all seven. Was yeah. Left yeah. yeah. And then they're buried somewhere place. out, and they have to run and get them, and the son of Satan is running after them. And then they have to it get a big to the special spot where the Enders and all his followers were burned to death in his house. Rises or something. It sounds right. We have to solve the cryptic clues to figure out where they are. Right. You, get, you get some things happening. Rich. After that, everything was okay you until the summer of 1929. <laughs> your, your, your knowledge of how a movie year my father is was constructed born. is just far, far too good. I know it hurts me when I actually watch movies. <laughs> Mrs. James has had triplets. <laughs> They were killed right after the it's, birth. It's a detriment. It's, it's bec <laughs> None it's of the babies a, was even human. All the children were the same. handicap on your part for enjo <laughs> enjoying <laughs> films like Demon. What was so special about him? Like, why does it? Why don't they do the most uh, no most idea. logical thing? But the last entry reads. 
Why doesn't this make any Everyone sense? Is Maybe streamline all the uh, the family stuff. It's all shirtless. I can hear them rising out in the barn. Well, we can bring the other daggers back. Oh, there you go. And that's what happened to my family. to the MCU. Now we're just planting the seeds for future Demon Wind Universe films. A sequel that was going to happen. Then they thought, better not. <laughs> that's, <laughs> true. That's, that's, that's true. That's not even a joke. Do, <laughs> no, that's right. Kick some supernatural ass. The straightforwardness, uh, no, straightforwardness of that is what like made it funny. Too. Just they were Very in the theater, they were Very watching the dailies, and they said, Dumb hey, Wayne. "Better not." Jury, what choice do we have? It's a good point. And I just wish we had some hand grenades. Press conference. They, they showed the I'd chart. rather have a Tahitian vacation. <laughs> With the timeline. And just says Demon Wind. Well, and then the line just goes on in the future. But nothing coming off of it. <laughs> it ends with bankruptcy. <laughs> Releasing in 1999. Vegas. Demon Wind. You know nothing spiritual lives in Vegas. The end. <laughs> the end. Vegas it is. Okay, here we have our two magician characters. Stacy, come out. be lured out by an elderly I'm porn star. Come out and play with me. His actor said, yeah, I think my mom would do some nudity. Oh. Uh, She's a MILF. <laughs> come out. I hear you say that again. <laughs> Please never, <laughs> you know, never say that. Guess what we just saw? The movie literally put everyone. Hey, Harley. <laughs> hey, Jack, wake, wake up. up. I guess it only wants us. They, they decide to go out together and fight demons to the death for no reason whatsoever. Well, that's yeah. They they just acknowledge that they understand that topless lady is actually a demon yeah so you think if they understand that they would just stay inside yeah shoot at her from the window sure you have long-range weapons yeah yeah why do they even go outside oh so they can die oh and the and the 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 demon the lady or just whatever force is at work here puts everybody else to sleep or just wake your friends up and tell them what you plan to do well, they were they were put to sleep. I don't think they were sleeping naturally. I think the demon wouldn't put them to sleep. Or whatever evil forces at work lured them out for All no right. reason. I was going to say, what is the demon's plan? What does the demon want? Why can the demon not go in the cabin? Why, do you, why are you using demon in singular? Well, demons. I don't understand. It's a demon win. Jay, so. they saw evil dead. <laughs> And they know how it works. Well, you can't go in the cabin. Okay. Flimsy cabin. Should be easily be able to get in. They can't do it. Well, Jay, this is this was made in 1990, right? So we're talking like uh, over here. The age of the home home video. I have trash, something. Right? Maybe a little late than that, but what I'm thinking is, yeah, they they slapped a crap movie together with some things that you could put on the box maybe the demon masks right and some and right nudity because they had some things yeah with that and the face on the box a couple of guns and then we'll oh man I think we're in trouble right? I think right. you're right it looks sort of like a movie it looks sort of like a movie So 
do it again. And then he's just gonna die. And <laughs> that was what a that great was nice. but Why did they, they go out with guns blazing? Why didn't they go out and magic to trick the demons? Rich? That could be a fun thing you do like, later. So, I made it. Like, big plan, I made get it. it out, Fuck and then you. use the magic trick as some kind of distraction. <laughs> oh. There's Grandma. What's happening? See, all those demons and all the old son. period Where clothing were the, de the, the townsfolk from the 1800s that followed Daisy. Anders' satanic cult and God. all got burnt up by the villagers. Okay. Oh, maybe he's running from, like, a demon yeah, uh -huh. in the house. And so then, oh, like, no. he oh, my God. Cabinet, the cabinet. The demon opens the cabinet, and it's empty. Oh, Which, yeah. That is just so simple. Oh. Then we cut, we see him running outside the house, because like where the car is to get the dagger. How about he, he leaves his magic hat? Here we look. And uh, we gotta keep our act together, we're gonna get out of this alive. Out of the hat Did you see the blood? Hey. The demon's face. <laughs> How about that? Okay. okay. What if he saws a demon in half? Dale, we're gonna it's check the like back. A magic trick? Yeah. He just saws it in half. <laughs> No, and then the two halves of the demon regrow on each side and make two demons. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's so many clever things you can do if you have half a brain. <laughs> Why didn't you tell the others about the I mean, dagger? Really, just half a diamond? brain. <laughs> tell them what? That my grandmother was a witch? She used spells to protect her son in this house? Yes, you tell them that because they you're in a magical, awful situation. Basket. One more thing in either of them. They'll probably lose. believe you. Maybe those spells could help right us. Now. They didn't help her much. Oh, oh, is this when he decided to to not tell his friends about his grandma's spell book? Yes. Yeah. After the first girl turned into a doll and started on fire. The that's, all bets are off then. That's when you tell him everything. Just open up. My grandparents just uh, had a demon them. house and you're all in it. Whoops. You don't think so in do addition you? to the satanic I'm cult, sorry, gotcha. his grandma was a witch. Don't even think that, and Corey. And that's I got not related to, to the demon magic. Uh, that's her own I magic. You. I don't know. And she uses spells to keep the God, demons away so from her family. Magic. Right? Yes and no. Oh. That, well, see, there's religious uh, uh, symbolism around, right? There's pictures of Jesus and all that. And yeah. then... Uh, there's a pentagram on the floor, and then there's like Wiccan symbols, and then there's also a crucifix on the door. It's yeah. a little mishmash of a little bit of everything. You're assuming they, they knew or thought it out. Yeah, I, I, I think they just said whatever. <laughs> um, a crucifix on the door, but also some kind of mystical. But also Wiccan, she's a witch. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, she, and she casts spells, right? <laughs> Spells and magic and, and, and witch stuff isn't in line with Christianity. Yeah. Uh, she's maybe, maybe, you well, know. That's what voodoo is. Honey, you're all right. It was but only not a dream. Christianity. You're all right I think there's some weird mishmash there. Okay. Well, maybe she was a voodoo priest, the lady. I don't know. God, I wish she's, I was I think she just, right maybe she just what? went with whatever could possibly work to keep that's the That's a car. Going, right? A couple of Jesus pictures, why not? And then some spells, I'll do that too. They should have just moved. It's Willie and Rita. Guns, sure. Oh, good, more characters. Don't shut it off. She just Don't moved. Shut it off. The whole point Don't in introducing your group of characters is to have them get killed off. Don't shut it off. You know, we've killed off two Don't characters and introduced two more to take their place. How many people did you invite on this trip? <laughs> What did don't you shut say? it off. It's a Suzuki. It might not start I said, again. Don't <laughs> shut it off. Also, there's demons. <laughs> oh. The demons, demons can shut the battery of the, of the car off. We just 
just got here. But apparently they can only do that after the car has already stopped. Right. <laughs> Demons that. can only prevent things from <laughs> have arrived. But, but why? Also... <laughs> no, I'm, I'm serious. Why are there two new friends? Why did the movie need two new friends to show up? I Honestly, I don't know other than uh, 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 more bodies, but... Can't they just show up with everyone else in the beginning? Uh, yeah. Hey, Corey. Uh, well, everybody... It seems like an odd choice to have just two Look more people out. just show up. Randomly. Sure. Uh, yeah, well, they have enough house. people to kill off at this We're point. I mean, there's still door. four more characters floating around. Dell, are you Is sure it you want to do that? Two of the actors quit. Yeah, I'm sure. Sure. Until they just anything. replace them with two new characters. I would normally think that, hey. but I, I didn't hear any signs of that on no, any of the really interviews good. that I listened. Like I told you before, honey. Also, you go, they I all go. met up at the gas station, right? Yeah. But then these two new That's characters somehow knew where his grandparents' farm was. I I don't know. They read the script. Oh. You may need this. Thanks, Corey. Okay, so Dell Let's and, get out of here. and his girlfriend are deciding to just leave. They said, we're not going to spend another night here. We're just going to walk and hope that the same thing that happened before doesn't happen again. <laughs> right? I mean, I guess. What other choice do you have? But they just nailed those those quarter-inch pieces of plywood I don't think they're going to make door, it. Jay. I don't the think so either. The door that is also made of quarter Better inch get plywood. Back to work. They never told those new characters what's going on. <laughs> Very confused. Just, I don't know if these new characters have another line of dialogue for the rest of the film. They're just like, uh, start nailing boards yeah. to the window. Yeah, We're in exactly. a situation here. But right. what's happening? What happened to our magician friends? <laughs> Presto, they disappeared. And why is there a burnt-up doll on the front lawn? <laughs> we don't talk about the doll. <laughs> We're all kind of traumatized by that. <laughs> and why isn't Corey told us about his grandma's spells and the demons? And why is the fireplace made of construction paper? Grandmother? Is the fireplace made Because it's a truck. cheap set. <laughs> That's why. It is you in the house, isn't it? that's another thing we have a satanic grandma? cult we have grandma was a witch Corey? and now we also have ghost grandma so we have demons witches and ghosts so ghost grandma just showed up to tell them where her uh, diary no. was sure and she never shows mean? up again well i say we attack it and also no. he has some kind of psychic connection you remember he touched the, the skull jack's right my grandmother at the barn. Brother, Maybe there's a doorway that, that leads in the into the barn. Oh, the same yeah. And electricity house. came out, and, and then he knew he had a flashback force, where the dad's brother to spit up blood. It. Does the dad's brother tie in with it. anything? No, what was the point guys. of that scene? No, the, dad, the dad's sure older brother, waiting. he's the kid with the overalls, he's running up and he spits blood out. I remember the scene, but why was that there? Look at the shot. These people show up. Why are there five missing daggers? Because. His grandma had three kids. They were triplets, but the dad has an older brother. Oh. Triplets oh, no. usually don't raise in age, ages, right? That's true. They're born at the same time. That's why they're triplets. triplets. Yeah. That'd, that'd be a fucked up pregnancy. <laughs> yeah, it would be a really weird pregnancy. If they're born at different times, then they're just siblings. Right, yes. <laughs> but the triplets were killed right after birth. Jerry? And they wasn't even human. Oh, hey, I don't know why. You? Okay. So she had demon triplets, but then she had his his dad and his dad's older brother, which would be his old uncle. Yeah, I'm sure she's not a it. Hear what? I'm sure. Oh, oh, no, oh no, my God! God. She's a demon. Bet you were wrong. Oh. And she has chopsticks for fingers. Uh, my grandfather went the exact same way. Doesn't work. I kind of like that. Oh, no. 
random nerve and went to the eye. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Dead now, I guess. No, they're they're now demons. Okay, so here's their only plan, which is <laughs> to walk to the barn. The 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 rich what you described as the the yuppie Harry it was Potter a human. That's what <laughs> says. I saw remnants of an old barn over there. Maybe, just maybe, that's the source of all the demons' powers. Considering Cory won't tell them Come about on. the fucking spell book, which is their best chance, they're working with what they have. So I haven't felt something with the barn. Maybe we can do something there. This house isn't working for us. Let's go check out the barn. Uh, it could be the source of the demon. Maybe power, we'll find so. an anti-demon device in the barn, or we maybe there's a portal of hell there. We can close it. Sure. I don't know. I, the, maybe how, there's nothing there. How to do that? I don't know. Maybe, maybe like I would. Maybe try to start the barn on fire, right? Knock it down? Sure, sure, why not? I, I mean, they could try anything. It really doesn't matter, because they don't know what's happening. They're just going to go look around the barn. The barn, they think if they pass through the door of the barn, they'll have an interior like the house. Well, they were right there. They Look, this, right. Is, this is just like Scooby-Doo. They have to investigate mystery. No. Before we find out this whole thing that's just a ploy by old Farmer Brown. <laughs> gas station. <laughs> he's, he's trying to scare people away from this gas station. He's trying to sell the, the most fish burgers in the county. <laughs> looks like a barn to me. Oh, the rival gas station also sells fish burgers. So it's the demon ploy to scare people away from the other gas station. That's already a better movie. Oh. Have our two new characters said anything? No, they're just here. They're just there. <laughs> they're, they're, they're literally, they're just here because the, halfway through the movie decided it needed some more bodies. Well, I hope one of them doesn't get their head squeezed by the cow skull. Oh my god, that's a cow skull. Oh no, it's how gonna did, happen, isn't it? How did you know, Jay? <laughs> Typical a goat. What is that? Yes. A cow. But they didn't have a large. Person. How do you have all these answers? <laughs> Are you just? It's an altar to the devil. Speculating, Rich. God, it's it's horrible. Baseless speculation. Yes. Rich was a part of the production. But there is something. I'm hanging out with Lou Diamond Phillips behind the camera. Right. Oh, she said something. She's very. No, she's lured into the, the the satanic. <laughs> gets in her mouth and she's like <laughs> like spitting it out like you'd really Wait, be doing that if your head was being crushed <laughs> you know what i mean like that sort of like oh gross what that sort of that instinct turns off when your skull's being crushed like, it's it's just gay magicians are back they should do some magic now some demonic magic like a variation of one of their magic tricks from earlier. They pull a pigeon out of their jacket, but it's just a skeleton or something. It's like a raven. But you're dead. Just pecking their eyes. Hey, there you go. You know what's already dead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, even the basic amount of creativity just Stay right falls there. out of them. Well, you why into... even introduce them as magicians? Yes. This is the house of the well, they, they do like you know the endless handkerchief, but it's like endless. <laughs> endless <laughs> Ooh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a couple of magic tricks for you, and then a whole bunch of like things <laughs> <laughs> come out. And then yeah, yeah. You start doing a magic show. And like, oh, you don't like this. Right. I just saw one. 
sure, why not? How about instead of that, they just stand there and everyone runs away? And goes back into the cabin. And goes back into the cabin. Jay, that is great. That just saved them $50,000 in the budget. <laughs> God, where's Willie? He must still be in the barn. Those are their new friends. <laughs> and that's her boyfriend. He's the white jacket. Corey, don't use the dagger! So this is dagger number one. That's a girl that we got to kill. You killed me. She's a too safe. She just shows up halfway through the movie. And then she dies right away. Well, she had to get blood on her head. That was probably mildly inconvenient. You all scream in hell tonight. All of you cry. Take this, I'm gonna check this. Because this is filler. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. That's not bad. There, see, I did it. Good luck to you too. Professional joke maker. Right? <laughs> I just had to work that out. It, it took a lot of effort. <laughs> <laughs> Can I sing that little bit? Because this is filler. Right? Without... Like, you can probably get away with that. Okay. okay. And it's parody. Yeah. It's par I'm protected under parody clause 3189 in the U.S. Constitution. <laughs> this is filler. <laughs> it's a filler night. Okay, so Grandma cast a spell, some kind of spell of protection on the ruins of the house. And then the protection spell worked until it stopped. How many demons, maybe? The to spell knows answer. how many demons are out there? The, the spell only worked for like five demons. I think maybe eight or twelve came out. It's an old sixty-year-old spell. Okay, that's just, some very bad timing for our characters, then. <laughs> it was just like the last day that it was still valid. <laughs> the spell is good for fifty-nine quarter years. Well, that's what our character gets for procrastinating. Could have done this at any time during his life. Couldn't investigate this cabin. Well, actually, no, Jay, that's wrong. Oh, oh. He decided to look his father up for no reason after 20 years. Okay. Then his father killed himself, and after his father killed himself, where did they go? He had heard a voice I don't know. in his head that said, You have to go. Maybe they're and still afraid of the house. The grandparents' cabin. Mm. Perhaps that voice was demonic in nature. Um, but it, it, he was he was lured oh. after only after his father died. Oh. And you 
just in really the basics. Uh, are you saying we're not currently watching your next sort of stuff? We are not. Despite all the aliens and science fiction elements, <laughs> we are indeed watching a horror picture. Called Satan Farts. Or maybe it's a comedy, I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe that's the problem. When 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 Alex Kurtzman was researching Star Trek, because yeah. he just got hired to write for Star Trek, instead of watching it on TNG, he accidentally somebody gave him a copy of the Demon. Yeah, right. I labeled it yeah. Star Trek: The yeah. Next Generation. He's watching this. Well, I guess this is Star Trek. Lots of guns, <laughs> violence. He's so. Incredible. And the plot can't make any sense. So incredibly stupid that when he, when he put it on, he, he didn't even notice. <laughs> Shotgun, right? He's back with the shotgun, yeah! Monsters break into house. He's writing notes with his crayons. Spot the one that does the magic? Crayons. Jack! Jack, it's funny! Please help me! The Harry Potter Bonnie? guy got bit by a demon. Bonnie! Help me! Him into a demon? It does. Well, that's, that's a new piece of lore we've been introduced to. Please help it's, 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 Jack. Again, you know, Jack. lots of hybridization going on. Please, it's Jack. Zombies and Bonnie. Religion and casting. Anything Jack. goes. Time, they really should have been learning all this. Really reading that diary. Yes, that would have a lot of stuff. It seems to have a lot of information. And it's used at the end of the movie. Then they start Jack? using it as. I wonder uh, if it was a complete afterthought. What? Were the scenes with the book tacked on later? The whole ending? <laughs> I don't know. When they realized they had no way how to conclude the story? Yeah. <laughs> Using the same prop teeth. <laughs> Hopefully, they they sanitize them. Between oh, damn it. Not you. It's a shadow. Is Daniel Radcliffe's gonna be really upset? Jack, oh, we can fight this. Demon. I did not make it so sweet. Fun fact: the close-up, that was in the hands of the director. He felt he had to have a like. He, he, he was exactly. the only one who knew the, the, the actions that needed to be performed for the scene to. There's, yeah. a, there's a special way that a demon would grow breasts without permission, right? <laughs> and, and this actor just wasn't what? wasn't doing it right. <laughs> Turned into his normal self, then an eight-year-old, then an infant, then a dove. Yeah. I mean... I mean, seen in, like, DH, I guess, kind of, is something. But we all start off as doves. But why? Why do I? I don't know. Jack, you turned into all those things. I saw his soul. I saw his soul. Why we should start reading grandmother's book? Let's start figuring out what's in that book. Seems like it. 
could have some important information. Why did I watch it for two times? Watching it until it makes sense. Yeah, this is the worst trip to a demonic I'm sorry. Thing I'm not. Wait, those aren't demonic zombies. They're just people from Walmart. So they use both the daggers now. Yeah. I have and the, arrived the daggers to my gone. children. Wait, what happened Gather to now. I'm they just, my like, sheep. Yeah, they died. Off camera? I no, the girl got her head bit you. by the. Oh, yeah. that was her. The, right. the cow skull. I think she just reward. slashed him. Or she and, and then she attacked him in the barn, then she appeared later Wait, with his uh, decapitated head. Oh! No. At some point, she cut now his head off. How shall your suffering end? Oh. Somebody's coming to save him, Rich. Well, not save him. Our time is at hand. Gather now, for the time has come. I bring you greetings from the Shadow Father. Okay. Yes, my children, come. come okay. Me. I guess, maybe. So, my children, it's our court, right? at last have we gathered. And after oh all my these God! Years, shall God, we come to the cycle? And he's brought fish burgers for everyone. Us. So, you know, I'm, I'm the one who's seen this 14 times. But Harcourt is, is he shall just a little guy the that wants to continue the, the, the demon cult? Yeah, like independently of, or is the old cult come? leader who just? Come unto me! Oh, you're talking about Anders. He is Anders. Yeah, he might be Anders. That has no, turned into Satan. We gotta try it. Trust her I think he gave, Anders gave his his mortal body up to the son of Satan. To oh, okay. But the son of Satan so said, "I'm gross." That I have waited long for this night, Corey Harmon. A fish burger. A burnt up fish burger. <laughs> I, I don't. I really don't know. He looks like a cancerous orc. Yeah, from Lord of the Rings. I'm a time to I love you. I love you too. Uh, uh, a, 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 an orc, orc with oh, a light light. Yeah. Oh, oh, spirits of goodness and peace. And peace. And oh, Earth Mother who watches so over us. Not Satan himself. He's the son of Satan. He's the son of Satan. He has to break into his horse family. But then he just ends up going to like the Battle of Helm's Deep and getting killed. So he's, he's trying to do all the things, like, you know, within two months he's got left to live. All He has to do all the things he wanted to do with his work life. That's good. Oh, yes, yeah, he, he's wearing the clothes of Enders okay. or Harcourt, whoever it might be, and it's all ripped apart. So, yes. I will be done. Game, screenwriter's best friend. Oh my god. What? 
What? He's an alien? Oh my god, this is an alien nation creature. He turned into a Thermian from Galaxy yes. Quest. They did him no good. I took a pleasure in the hand of it. Did he know he could do this? And now you're gonna pay for that. Take it out of your pocket and throw it on a light <laughs> on a candle, Jay. Anything could happen. <laughs> Just kick the son of Satan in the nuts. I'll teach you. I did it before you yeah, die. That's like, that's like when you're, you're gonna try to defeat the son of Satan. First thing you try. Just, just kick him in the chest. Kicked in the balls, and then after that, we found the other things. Is there any context explaining why Cory looks like Thermian? Uh, no. I've speculated in the past that he is a special angel. Because uh, he's got like weird ears. Is some kind of dialogue in there establishing that this is a possibility? Hinting that this might happen? Please, God. It should be explained, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna agree with you there. What, what's happening should be explained. Right? And, uh, I really think it's that deep. It is the incarnation of the angel. Something. It's just, it says here, when we read these three lines, you can inhabit the body of the angel, which will allow you to do battle with the son of Satan. Can I be turned back into my normal self after? I don't know. It's a risk we're gonna have to take. Fair to this movie, nothing like this happens in the Evil Dead. No. No, nobody turns into an alien. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, he's uh, impervious to being attacked. What? Oh, he's coming around. Thank God, Corey, I couldn't find your pulse. Oh my I God, you it was all a dream, everybody. Man, you gave us quite a scare moments. there for a while. You're like somewhere oh, is else. Is it really? Corey, are you all right? Yeah. Has it's Just all a dream movie. ever been satisfied? Ever. Where am I? We're at your grandparents' farm. Remember we drove Wizard up Wizard of Oz? A Wizard of Oz, it might not really all have been a dream. Yes. It could have theoretically happened. What happened to me? We walked in the front door, looked around, and... Uh, and he just went out like a light. Inception? Man, you hit the floor so hard, it's like you got belted by Mike Tyson. Is it Tyson. all a dream in Inception? I don't know. I don't remember anything about that. Jack! <laughs> Jack, you're all right! Rich. You're all alive! Of course your we're all alive. Your argument is invalid. Just like real, real life. life. Why is you it? Just I reject your hypothesis. <laughs> Oops. I reject your reality and substitute Surprise. my own. Surprise! <laughs> It's not a dream. This is such a fun The lame horror movie cliche. Cory! Cory! Out. Yeah, uh, and then. Help me! It was filmed before, remember? When Dell was trying to get fresh with his lady. Yeah. And it was kind of making his face ripped up. Oh, now Elaine is a demon. It's the flesh you love so well. She's gonna be the bride of the son of Satan. Corey, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Yes. I love you. I love you too. Cause, cause she's, I guess because she's the only one left. She's the only female left. So she, but the only reason all the other people are dead is because the demons killed him for no reason. Because she's, she's Corey's girlfriend and we're supposed to kill her. Oh, oh. Wait, wait, the dream wasn't a fake out ending. It was just a random thing that happened. Yeah. It was an illusion by Satan to make him think that he was back to normal. That's so fucking weird. Although he didn't keep the illusion up for very long. And that I think is I always loved yeah. so fucking weird. It was so that no, Satan Dad. could turn Elaine Don't. into a demon and make her his demon bride. But Corey woke up and interfered and turned her back into a person with his angel magic. Aren't you following along? Is this a cameo by the director? Oh. Stop it! 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 Back to my spaceship. Another life. Son of, son You're of terrified Satan. of us because we're alive. We can feel. You're only a shadow. I will say you I don't hate your cheap the makeup. magic tricks because you're dead. No, the makeup's a good. Uh, God uh, changed you into a Satan snake guy. and a chicken shit at the same time. I don't like need magic to take your soul. Oh, 
have my gun. Uh, not the gourd. Uh, the just, gourd fell off. I just, while the makeup itself is in bad makeup, that they made him look like a 30th was a weird choice. Yes. I, 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 Especially I, since we don't know what he's actually supposed to be. I was going to say, uh, yeah, yeah, I would I would offer suggestions of how they could have done it differently, but I don't know what he's supposed to be. It looks like he belongs on Babylon 5 and not in a horror movie. Right. He's got angel in his blood. He's, he's but if they're going, are they going for an, uh, an angel? Three. No, I made in that the... up, but it makes sense. That's how you become an angel. Oh, my Lord. The grace of my <laughs> Get the diary. Read the last spell. Uh, which one's the last spell? I don't know. Just read anything. The one Some, on the back page. Something on it. We call upon the power of light. But the demons Drive also the have kind of so Send it back fears. into the darkness yeah, from where it like, came. I'm going to go. He's really the opposite of a demon. Which oh, Turn this abomination. Cleanse it from my blessed earth. Like, no. Like, no. That will be done. Sure, sure. Armor, right? Something like that. Costume. Glowing blue eyes. That's fairly easy, right? Or yeah. keep him looking exactly like this and just have a line where someone says, Oh, he is transformed into an angel. So we understand what's happening. <laughs> up in a ethereal cafe and God is the cafe owner. Oh. And there's all the other leapers there and they're basically like angels. Huh. That fly about through time and fix problems. So, are all of their friends burning in hell now? Yes. Corey feels real bad about inviting them. <laughs> like, that sucks. But, you know, they made it, right? They Ugh. made it. And that's all that really matters. You're protected by this balsa wood. He's no longer a bald thermian. And he kind of found out what happened to his grandparents. Or you're human again. So he feels, he feels <laughs> you know, satisfied. Is it over? Is it really over? I don't even know if it started. <laughs> it was a little bit confusing, honestly. <laughs> Especially towards the end there. just got all your friends killed, Corey. You did it! We need to talk about a relationship, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I think it's best we both move on from each other. <laughs> so should we tell all of our friends' parents what happened? Should we explain this to the police? <laughs> what a prick. <laughs> Is smiling and laughing like, yeah. uh, and everyone's dead that he invited yep. to go on this thing. It's not like it was a like a group decision to go on this trip to a cabin in the woods. You know, maybe, maybe they weren't his friends. Maybe they were all her friends. Okay, <laughs> no big loss. Yeah, no big yeah. loss for him. Oh, let's stop here. <laughs> this place has provided us with no problems. <laughs> let's go to the place that was owned by the man who was the son of the demon. <laughs> literally became the son of the devil. Gotta go back to the gas station. To Pee Wee's Playhouse Hello? door. <laughs> and Hello? And find Lady. Remember Harriet? Lady from the beginning, Rich? Lane? Yeah. Is that 1940s you? Lady. Harriet. Oh, I'm so glad yeah. you came. My uncle, he and was... She, uh, uh, and she is also a demon. Lane. Of course. Come here. Although she wasn't stuck in the barn. Uh, the other she, was she got to live at the gas That's station. Okay. They, they defeated all the demons, for you except they didn't. She was aligned with Hard Hardcore, who may have been Anders. But see, now the book, they no longer have to cast It's just the existence of the book can kill demons now. They 
can shoot lasers out and send them to quantum leaps. <laughs> Why did they go to the gas station in the first place? To, to kill her, because they, yeah, I guess they knew she was a demon. They highly suspected it. Okay. She, she was hanging out with Harcourt. Although, see, they missed red-headed stepchild. They didn't notice this demon. Now we know that demons are very easy to defeat, so it's not that big of a deal. Just hold a book up at him. I, I guess. And a He-Man laser comes out and zaps them into, <laughs> into nowhere. <laughs> That's why the sequel is more action-focused. The aliens okay. of Demon Wind. <laughs> <laughs> Demon wins? Demon wins. They go in with a team of, of uh, Marines. We've detected multiple demon winds. <laughs> the, the, the Marines of Thousand Oaks, California, walk around with with all these uh, uh, books attached to the, the barrels of their guns. They shoot blue lasers at demons. <laughs> I think that's a, that, that that could work. Demon winds. Yeah, demon winds. <laughs> Very little demon wind. No, you're wrong. There was lots of demon wind. There was not any demon wind. Yeah. There was demon fog. Oh. I guess you could say that's the, the representation of it's the demon wind. Demon wind. fog is the representation of it. But even that isn't in it a whole lot. And that's your complaint about the movie? That's my, my only complaint. Other than that, 10 out of 10. Okay, <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with the amount of demon wind. Okay, <laughs> that's not the problem. Problem is everything. <laughs> I've seen so many horrible movies. I give this one a three out of ten. Let's <laughs> <laughs> right. go watch this again. I think it'll make more sense if we watch it again. It might. It's worth trying. Watched it. This, if we watch it again, it'll be your 15th. Right. It'll only be my second time. Right. Yeah. Might be if we all collectively watch it multiple times. Together, we can figure it out. Certain things. Yeah. I like it. So, what do we do for the rest of the credits? Just sit here? Yeah. Why not? Gem Phipps. Oh, that's him! Lewis Diamond Gem yeah, and Phipps yeah, is yeah. Phyllis. Like, God, that's, that's it. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> Found it. His wife left him for Melissa Etheridge. He's married to a second AD, and all I got was Demon Wind. Just like, come to my window. <laughs> right? That's an alternate title for this movie, actually. Yeah. There's a lot of that. Yeah. They use a cleverly, cleverly hidden uh, pseudonym in the cred end credits. Yeah. yeah. Because he refused to have his name on this. Yeah, you know what? That's 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 enough of that.